Hello everyone, this is Gareth and we are continuing with the exciting quest of Titan Quest. Once fight now we are fighting different enemies. Woo! We are fighting the Jackal Men. Because first we must fight goat people, now we must fight jackal people, because jackal people are much more awesome. So yeah, we're kind of in the Egyptian areas now, and everything will re be accordingly Egyptian, including the runes and stuff that we will pick up, like this, um, what's, what you call it I just picked up, hang on, uh, stop attacking me, stupid jackals. Um, yes, like this thing over here, this is Egyptian only, and... As uh, such, the things that I found in previous chapter, I will pretty much not be able to upgrade anymore from that point on. God, God that woman is quick. I can't run that fast. I wish I, I wish I could run that fast. That would be really convenient if I could run that fast. I mean, then um, this game would be over in like three minutes, basically. Oh, that's exaggerating. But still, it would be over a lot quicker if I had that running speed. Yeesh. So, Egypt. Who doesn't love Egypt? Egypt is awesome. Yeah, I love Egypt. I don't know why, but I always love the Egyptian levels in general, which is... What is that man doing? Yeah, this is no time to be dancing, man. Why? But yeah, I don't know why, but for some reason Egyptian things always... I, I like them for some reason, and... I guess that's also one of the reasons why I really like Serious Sam, but there you go. Maybe I should move, but these guys are dying pretty quickly, and um, I actually bought a new weapon. I randomly decided to buy a new weapon because um, I was kind of bored with the old one. That was the main reason, and this one does a very, very, very small amount of extra damage, which is nice. Uh, well, I'm not really sure how long I have to record. I, I'm, I only have like 30 minutes at the moment. What's this? Is that a battle market? That's a lot better than that stupid shrine of thorns. I would have wanted a shrine of thorns anyway. It's not really that good. It doesn't really do anything. Oh, that, that dancing man. Uh, da, 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 da. But yeah, got a new weapon and got a different armor because the other one made me look like a duck or whatever it was. It made me look like some sort of animal that I really didn't want to look like at the top. So yeah, I decided to get rid of it. And this leads nowhere. Excellent. Or no, 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 no. Wait, no, it doesn't lead nowhere. But yeah, I'm just uh, gonna kill some jackals. Kill some jackals really quickly. Wow. Look at that attack speed with the battle mark. <laughs> I'm not sure. I think this one, uh, this bow, just has this. A faster attack speed overall, or... Ah! Scorpions! Scorpions are never good. But uh, yeah, either you're at a faster attack speed overall, or maybe I'm just seeing things. Also, it would appear that both the um, Shrine of Thorns and the, the Battle Marker were in effect at the same time, so I guess you can have several Shrines at once. That's actually kind of nice to know, because then I can just basically pick up everything at once, basically. Yeah, I say basically a lot in this sentence. Oh, you can shoot me, but I can shoot... Or maybe my arrows just float in space. Yes, this... this is... No, wait, both of our arrows randomly decided to stop for a moment in midair. This... this is what, what arrows do. This is how they work. Curse you, gravity! But that's not important right now. We are... Where are we? I... This is one of the things I don't like about Egypt in games, that it's always a maze when you find a town. I'm sure everyone that played Serious Sound can remember that every single town there was kind of annoying to navigate through if you didn't know where you were going at first, so... Yeah, but that's a different story altogether. We're in Egypt, we're gonna have some fun, although everything seems to be kind of burned down at the moment. That's not really good. And both of them drop it. I guess the venom sacks and, like, demon's blood and stuff like that, it will still drop in this these places. It's just the runes that are... I'm not really sure they're runes, actually, but, well, they were runes in Diablo, so therefore I will call them runes. And, yeah, that's, um, those things will just be different in each chapter act, basically. Although, I'm not sure if Act 3 actually has any unique ones, but, um, we'll get back to that once we actually get to Act 3, because Act 3 is not very big. But that's not important. We'll get there. We'll get there eventually. We must just first continue on our adventure to go through this place and stuff. Yes. And yeah, as I've mentioned before, Diablo 2 II, Act 2 is very similar to Titan Quest Act 2. And I'll probably mention this every single time that we finish anything of the main quest. Because aside from not... I, I don't... I don't Remember if this place is a sewer level, actually, but... 
what we're doing now is basically the sewer level of Diablo 1. There is not a very large difference between the sewer level of Diablo 2. This is the Diablo 1. Uh, but there's not a very large difference between the sewer level of Diablo 2 and what we're doing now. Prometheus is flame. Isn't that... The... Yeah, that is a... Okay, this confuses me. <laughs> um, apparently, that's not an Egyptian-only one. I guess um, it's only for certain ones or something? I don't really know, but... Um, huh. Well, that goes my story of me knowing everything about this game ever. Yeah, I thought that would be something you'd only find in um, Greece, but apparently not. Huh. Well, there you go. I uh, did not know this, but I guess we shall learn to live with my mistake. These are level 18. I'm level 18. These are my friends now. My equally aged buddies, although that one's level 15. I'm not sure what that 15 is doing with all these 18, uh, 18s. I guess... Um, Something wonky going on with these, um, leopards. I mean jackals, where does the leopards? Royal Coffer! Also known as chest filled with crap, but... It was filled with a lot of crap, so that's good. And more importantly, it was just filled with money, so therefore I won't have to sell up stuff. Hee <laughs> hee. Uh, did I miss anything? Probably not. Hopefully not, else I'm gonna be in a pickle. Because I want to do all the side quests, it's important. I want to do all the important stuff that is of most important importance in this important quest of importance. Importance. Important. Yes. Protective or bracers. Hoo ha! So, what's that? That's a sand swept cave. Let's go into the sand swept cave and hope that that one dude's sword is in there that he was going all. Oh, please! Get my sword back. Somehow the jackals stole my sword and then ran off because they realized I have infinite health and they cannot kill me. I'm pretty sure he, was, he said something like that. And, and well, clearly there wasn't a shop nearby either, so they couldn't just buy a new one. It's a sword that's been in the family for generations and generations to come. It's actually a magical sword that I can't use. It's because it's too magical. Also, remember these enemies from Diablo 2? Or at least the similar bug type ones. <laughs> I like mentioning this. I like mentioning that I like mentioning it. I don't know why. It makes me feel all giddy. Also, ah, a vile Ica. You never know when that comes in handy. Let's take it with us. Yum yum, vile Ica. Also, I forgot to put those venom socks together, didn't I? Also, this tomb rot is not very dangerous. I think it's trying to do a ranged attack, but because of the frostbite try, and it, it just kind of sits there going, Grrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
I cannot shoot down because clearly my character can't look in that direction. It can only look forward. Or something. I don't know. There's probably some gen genius reason why. Probably because else it would probably be a little bit easy at times if you kill them and they can't hit you. And then the AI would probably be all, hey, that guy's shooting us. Let's all look at him. Shoot me, please. Like they kind of do at these uh, points for some reason. Because they barely ever program the AI to just run away when they really can't hit him. Actually, in Guild Wars, I think they did that pretty well, that they just, after a while, just run off. Although, then you had the problem that if you would attack them again, even when you were close range, they'd still run off. So that kind of defeated the purpose of that good idea and stuff. But, yeah, that was Guild Wars, and, yeah, that's a completely different game. So, let's just uh, be glad that they didn't bother with that in this game and just don't make you sh let you shoot downwards or something. Although I wonder if that's the same case with all magic and stuff, because I think the range works slightly different for some spells. Hmm. I try this if I have a caster, but I don't, so therefore I will not. I think I'll live without knowing this knowledge, and if someone in the comments does know, then please be so kind to go, Hey, everything you say is wrong, wrong, I say. Listen to my words of wisdom and despair. And that guy probably has the sword because he has all shiny stuff around him and his name is purple and he had two swords and wow, that's a whole bunch of stuff he dropped over there. And I'm nearly a level up. Ooh. Yeah, it would appear that all these guys are slightly higher level. Right, Kope, and that would be the fairly, the fairly heirloom, the family heirloom. So I don't have to worry about that anymore. I'll just give Q. I'll just give that back once. Uh, yeah, I get back in uh, thingy. Six thousand experience. That's enough to level up, actually. Hm. Is my inventory almost full? Yes, it is. So I press. I guess I'll turn in that quest soon enough. Probably after I've leveled up. Who knows? And if not, then I'll level up from the quest, so... Yeah, probably after I level up. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so let's just put some points in strength and dexterity again, forever and ever. Oh, uh, let's see, 32? Okay, so now I can put points in a volley. 6% chance to be used, and what does this do? A secret of mast... A secret of Master Fletcher's is the ability to craft special arrows that burst on impact, spending blah, blah 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 blah. So basically, everything hits everything around you. I like that. So let's hope that this volley thing actually works. I guess with only one skill point in it, it probably won't work that good. But there you go. At least when I shoot things now, it'll be all sparkly and stuff. So that's really what's most important when you think about it. Eat my sparkles, fiend! And I guess this is kind of a neat AoE type attack. Hello! I thank the gods that you are here. I have done everything I could to keep the beasts from the library, but now these things are everywhere, even in our archives below. These monsters are burning and destroying everything. With no respect for the knowledge our sacred scrolls hold, please stop them. Righto. Well, that guy said I have to get the scroll. An ancient scroll, let's hope this is to, by any coincidence, well, she didn't really say I get them so much as protect them, but, um, they don't really seem to be doing anything to, you know, destroy these scrolls, just kind of hanging around here, killing people, and, ha, huh, the AoE thing kind of worked there, that's, I like that. I like that a lot, so, I think, I guess I'll put a few more points in volley or something, and then start putting points in... Spirit mastery and hope I can get that summon before I actually start facing off against evil doers. Real evil doers. I mean, I'll just put a few points in spirit mastery and a few points in volley every once in a while. That, 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 that could work. I like these plans. They all work out in my favor. Yes. So. This is the jackal chapter. Okay, I really do like that stuff is dying slightly more quickly now. It may not seem that noticeable, but to me, it is. So, mirror. It basically means that I have to edit less. And I already edit not a... Well, I don't really edit that much, really. I remove the initial noise from the sound recording, and then I just kind of 
put everything together and then kind of click things, but overall I really don't add that much, and now I will have to add it even you less. You can't carry anymore. Yes, I can. I mean, this I probably can't carry, but I'm pretty sure that I can carry this jeweled staff. Maybe in this bag. Oh. Huh. Now, this is the heirloom sword. No, this is a... Oh, this is probably... The, yeah, it's really shiny and stuff. Um, okay, I'll just sell up, actually. I'll just um, turn in that little old questeroo over there in Rakotis. That Mr. Oh, please, get me my sword block, please, sir. Bob da -boo -boo. And then I will sell up, and then I will see you back at the hall. But first, let's find man without sword who has sword in his hand anyway, but it, it totally isn't a sword. Actually, does he have a sword in his hand? I'm not sure. No, he has nothing in his hand. My sword! You found it! Well... I must thank you, warrior. No, no, no. I feel it is my duty to repay your kindness. Don't refuse. Take this. That sounds very wrong. But, um, yeah, he still is not holding his sword. I guess he's not that grateful. But I'm just going to sell up and I will meet you back in the other side of the portal. What does this person have to say? That's a storyteller. He doesn't have nothing to say because I've already talked to him. But, yes, I'll see you in a moment. Okay, and we're back here again. Wonderful. Happily, happily running around in the corridors of this palace of ancient ruins, but not really that ruined. Mostly ancient stuff of stuff that has... Okay, it actually shoots three arrows at the same time. I can see how you only have a small percentage chance to shoot three animals... Um, to shoot three arrows at the same time, because sometimes you just accidentally grab three arrows, and then you say, Oh, I might as well shoot them all at once. Oh, do 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 but yes, running around in this library archive type area. Happily, daisily, killingly. And I actually managed to swap out one of my rings for one that gave me more health. <laughs> but less lightning resistance, which might actually be a bad idea because I think I will be facing a lightning-y boss at one point. But I'm sure I'll live. I got extra health. Like 80 or something, so. Hehe. <laughs> Oh no! Shades of fallen generals and fallen warriors! In fact, there is a fair chance that this might actually be lightning damage, but, uh... Meh. Meh, I say. I... What what do they, do they think they can do except lower my frame rate every single time they appear? Which is actually working quite well, because it's bothering me, but still... That is not important. They cannot harm me, because I have a bow and I can shoot three arrows at once sometimes. So, ha ha! Cling! Ooh, stuff. And once again, that thingy face is a mirror, so I guess there are some that are exclusive to Egypt and probably some that are exclusive to Greece as well. But it is kind of strange. Although there's a fair chance that at, at this point everything can just drop, ex if, um, along with the Egyptian ones, but uh, I will not, I do not know. Nor do I really care, so, uh, yeah. I'll just happily mumble along, along the countryside, while this guy tries to shoot me through a wall, as jackal men do, as jackal men do all the time. This is a dead end. But at least I managed to save some archives that they were clearly destroying. They weren't just standing here, they were destroying ancient notes of things that they have no respect for because I keep destroying them and I keep opening my map screen for some reason and I went in the wrong direction and I don't really need to go or do I? No, I do not. I need to go right in the next one. Or I guess left? I, I, yeah, I guess left from the character's perspective, but meh. I don't care about this character's perspective. I care about the evil shades of fallen mages and warriors that have taken over. This evil library archive. This frame rate issue is really starting to bug me. But fortunately, I'm not recording much longer anyway, so once I get the scroll, I'm probably gonna actually call it a D. Ah, where did you come from? I didn't see you at first. You hide. You hid, even. That was good English, I say. Ah. Right, so. Die! Eat my slightly increased attack speed and my larger chance of using volley! Hoo-hoo! Yeah. 
eat it, I say, and eat it but good, because I am the bringer of lunch. That sounds really menacing, doesn't it? Oh yes, the eater of... No, the bringer of lunch, which is the arrows, and it's all a metaphor, and... Yeah. Take that, and stop. Da, 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 da. Ah! Stop coming out of the floor, you skeletal beings! Well, there, there is nothing here, so I guess you could have come out of the floor there, and I'd be all, Ha! Ah, this is all part of the room! But I guess you didn't really feel like doing that, so... I shall not do so. Library vault. I'm in the vault now. Where they use crypt worms to defend all of their library needs. And library deeds. Yes. Why would you have a library vault? Can't you just put everything on one floor? Wouldn't that be cheap? Although, I guess. Nah, it kind of is already underground, so I'm not sure if adding a second layer underground will be more expensive in terms of a financial view of it all, because. Yeah, you'd have to build it under the other one, so you'd have to make sure that the... Hey, a door! It's a mysterious door! That probably means a boss battle. Sealed by Guardian. Oh, look, that's a Guardian. Scarabus, the Desert King! Die, monster! You are a Scarab! Ah! You have a lot of projectiles, apparently. This is not really... Okay, he's slowing me down. That's more annoying, really. Ah! Okay, that's a lot of things. That's quite a lot of things, in fact. So, I wonder if he actually does different attacks if I stand closer to him, because some bosses actually do that, especially the last one. And he seems to be stuck inside a wall here, isn't he? Maybe I just take um, the damage like this for a while. Maybe this is actually a lot easier. Because the projectiles mostly just seem to just kind of... Um, yeah, they just seem to that slow me down for a very short amount of time, but his melee attack doesn't really seem all that powerful. Maybe in a little difficulty, but right now this seems to be a lot of a safer bet since he's not summoning those little scorpion um, scarabs anymore. So, yeah. I guess this is probably the best idea at this difficulty level. Might need to use another potion, but probably not. Actually. Wow, he exploded when he died. That was kind of insane, but oh well, killed the boss monster. And well, the later difficulties, I actually won't need to stand next to him either because I'll be able to summon that Lich King I was talking about. And I think he's a melee character as well. So if I just do that, then that shouldn't really be a problem for most bosses either. I mean, the Lich King is pretty useful in the later difficulty, not so useful in this difficulty because, um, well, the summons actually get a higher amount of health and damage and stuff per difficulty. It doesn't, it doesn't matter how many points you have in it, you'll just get an extra boost if you go to a higher difficulty level, which is an interesting choice, and there appears to be a hidden thing behind here, but let's pick up the scroll of invocation. Or Make it fall on the floor first, and then pick it up. Which apparently makes this thing open. I wonder, was wondering what was on the map over there, but I guess that's it. Uh, hi, 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 hi. I probably need to go back now, don't I? I keep pressing L. Bring the scroll to the temple up far inside. I'm just gonna do that actually and call it a recording day, because this frame rate issue is starting to annoy me. And I will not be annoyed. Actually, I didn't actually read if the Temple of Ptah is here. Probably should have. Hmm. Just quickly checking if there is, in fact, a... Okay, it doesn't actually say the names of the teleporting areas. So I'm just gonna quickly run around here. At least I managed to get another uh, fountainy fountain. So therefore, even if this isn't where he is, then I'll just say... Oh, I'll, I'll just do them next time. Hehe. <laughs> but, um... And also, someone was asking me what this guy was for, basically, um... The arcane formula. Yes, thank you. But, uh, basically, uh, this guy can create an arcade formula with the, um... Uh, formula thingies, and you just put all the three, um, items here that you need. Click on Create Artifact and it will appear here. Or you can use the Altar of Separation, where if you apply one of these to an item, you can remove it using this thing, and you can choose to either remove the relic and, as such, destroy the item, or you can use the, um, 
Or you can just recover the item and as such destroy the relic you attach to it. And I guess it's a relic, not a rune in this game. So that's just about it for now. And I will see you guys next time when I will be continuing in that desert area that we were talking about a moment ago. So I hope you enjoyed it so far and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.